Listen. Listen to my word. Listen. Get it in your heart. Listen. Listen. By the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Listen to me. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Listen to me. What will you be stopping if you don't have the word of God and you listen to me? Listen, listen, listen. You can't be the rock until you become the listen. That's just what it says to me. Matthew 16, his name got changed over to, uh, he said, on this rock I build my church, on the seats I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I come against the gates of hell right now. Hallelujah, right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, because of this is an assignment that I did. Y'all say, y'all worship Peter. I know y'all worship him. He's going to be the saint that going to let me in. He's going to be the saint that let me in. Oh, oh, I want to be in the number. When the saints go marching in, is it the one be the one I'll give you a marching orders? Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, how I want to be in the number. When the saints go marching in, hey, sit your tail down. Get marching away. from Simon to Peter and then there was a, a blank space for assignment I believe there was still assignment uh, that you were still supposed to be able to listen hear Jesus uh, effectively because Jesus told him at that point that he went to Jerusalem to die a week later there was a place holder there somebody ran the race and there was nobody standing in that place to take it my, 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 my name is, is Peter it ain't Simon no more I've been changed <laughs> That's what we Christians do. I've been changed. We forget people when we go up sometimes. We come up sometimes. I've been changed. Hallelujah. I've been changed. We, we, we get changed and we forget that he's still uh, standing there giving marching orders. There's still the saints coming up behind you. Because a saint is nothing but a sinner, right? That's not even talking. A saint is nothing but a sinner uh, who, 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 who fell down. We got it back up. I think it's Bible too. I checked it at one point. I think a couple years ago. I, I don't remember. What is the saint? Nothing but a sin. <laughs> so the people that you're looking at now that are sinning, or they're really sin sinning, or they're really qualified and justified and the call according to God's purpose for that. How can I blah, 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 Is that how you look at it, right? Simon was a was a, was a, was a disciple, became Peter, then he went back to being Simon again. Should have been Simon the entire time. Jesus gave you a name, but he didn't tell you to reveal it to everybody. There's a name, there's a secret name on a white rock in heaven for you. Revelation says it, uh, but it is not meant for you to reveal it to everybody. That's why that's, that's why secret. <laughs> how be it, how come, I'm, how come, how I become a foot? I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring past the sin this thing. How be it that Simon was walking along and Simon was in the line for Simon? <laughs> oh, but the grace. Thank God for grace because we want to look for a rock. We look for grace, right? We look for love. While Jesus was walking down the street across on his back, there was Simon that came up right at that time. The Lord grabbed the Simon that walked up. Why? Because Simon, that was originally Simon, was not there. He was in the hell, reveling under the bed in his name. Him and his new name, Peter. He's supposed to be the rock. He should have been there. He tried to pass off a baton. Should have been there. And I read the scripture where Simon was there. And Simon was looking at what, 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 what do you want from me? And they said, You carry this cross. And the Bible outlines that his name was Simon. The Bible does not name the woman with the issue of blood. She has but she is named as the woman. The Bible does not blind, name blind part of maze because I imagine his name was changed because if people also somebody blind, even after they get healed, all right, they will become blind again. So as we don't we don't know the name that blind part of maze may have may have taken on. There are many unnamed characters in the Bible, and the Bible goes so far as to keep them that way. Blind men and lame and, and people that need to be healed but at this time when Jesus was walking to the cross uh, as many as millions of people out there this man walked up and because his name was Simon he got a mention him and his name could it be that Simon who was renamed Peter in the midst of it uh, forgot his name uh, forgot his glory forgot his anointing and could it be that he forgot where he was supposed to be he forgot that he was supposed to stand in the line you have a place uh, in the line you should be standing in the gap standing in the gap you can't stand the gap anybody else stand in the gap for me please there's a gap there no matter how, an opening and when they walked up they grabbed the first Simon they could see 
I need a Simon, get your tail over here. I need somebody to carry the cross. Why the Bible said Simon that didn't do it? I saw it, God showed to me. He said, because Jesus is the solid rock. But Simon was the rock. He is, Jesus is the rock. Peter is the rock that we would lean on. And so if Peter had stuck up the way he was supposed to be, it would have been a rock on top of the rock, which means we would have been a foundation and a church at the same time that the gates of hell really could not prevail in this world, in this world right here. I guess we would have been have a rock upon a rock. We would have been like flint. Uh, we would have been like iron that stands on iron. Sharpen his iron. We would have been rock on rock. We would have been like I want to be rock on rock, because Christ is the solid rock, Peter is deep, this be rock, and so when the two rocks come together, what you get, a rock, oh, rock, rock, but instead we got rock on terror, because, because Peter Tephus wasn't there, we got another assignment, so we got another uh, a job in it, jo Jesus had employed Peter as they walked into the city where they were coming, uh, where he was going to be crucified. Because right after that, in verse, uh, that was Matthew 16, I think 18, right after that in verse 23, five scriptures later, uh, he tells them that he's going to be crucified, and Peter says, no, this shall not happen to you. So Peter was being employed in Matthew 16, and now we're at Calvary. He was being employed for his job now, and now we're at Calvary. Will you be ready? Yes, God, well, were they ready? Were they ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for God to come in and give you the job that he wants you to do, right? Because he was given the job, but he did not show up for it. Why? Because he was too busy hiding and the stuff where he was. Because the night before, we talked about it uh, about a year ago. He was standing over the fire while Jesus was inside the trial. He was roasting his fingertips. Hallelujah. He was standing outside of the trial while Jesus was inside the trial. He was standing outside the door while Jesus was inside of the room. And so if you really want to be a part of Jesus, you would have been in the room with him so he could see you, so you could support him. But you're outside of the building, roasting your fingertips and cussing people out. The funny thing about it is, Jesus is my identity. I always say it. What Peter was doing in our terms, in our languages, he's, I've seen it on the show. Sociopaths will fry their fingertips off. Why? They're not trying to give it a name. All you gotta do is take your worst and put it right out over it. They're not trying to give it a name. They're trying to obliterate their identity. I've got to get rid of my identity. I don't want to identify with Jesus anymore. So I got to roast my fingertips off. My body is outside of the trial room, but my fingers are in fire. I don't want nobody to know that I know him. And so while he's roasting his fingertips, people started mentioning who he really was. Aren't you that man? Roast, 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 fingertip, fingertip, fingertip. Absolutely not. I'm not that man. He kept roasting. They kept mentioning. He kept roasting. They kept mentioning. God has a way. Finding you out, he gave up. So instead of a roasting, then I think he gave up and started denying. And that was the night before. And he ran home. Hallelujah. And said, I got him to bed. I guess so. In the poor car that he started. That's what I do. I used to do when I was a kid. Get him, get him, get him, get him to bed, get him in the closet, start crying. I tried giving cops once, but it got so hot with those clothes in there. I couldn't breathe. At least under the bed, right? The first way I see you come to give a beat. But at least, at least the air coming in through the window. With some air. I need air. I need some pneuma. God just revealed something to me. God said, what's the problem with him being under the bed? Hey, Spirit. What's the problem with being under the bed? You can't climb under the bed. You don't have time for that. Why? Because by you climbing under the bed, you put yourself in the self the same position that Satan's in. Jesus three put Satan on his belly. You put yourself on your belly. When you climb under the bed, everybody. I was watching um, Boy Meets World. I love that show. Even when I was a kid, so I'm watching it again. Right? When Sean was in trouble, so he climbed under the bed. He used to always do it. Climb on the top of the window, climb on the floor of his bed. And he just slid right under the bed like he knew where everything was. He slid under the uh, Hallelujah, that's familiar crevices and crooks in it. Slid under the bed. Because the enemy has been under there. And he outlined a place for you. The wind, so when you come crying in fear, he will slide under the bed with you. Slide under there. He slid under it, made a path for, 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 for me. Slid under there, made a path for you. So that we can find solace or what we think is solace. Outside of peace under there. We're under the bed. We're under the bed. We're under the bed. That's because that's crannies and crooks. I, well, I don't want to meet no crooks. It's crannies and crooks under the bed and hiding. Right? Because the enemy wants you to be in fear. And where are you when you are in fear? You do the most hiding that you've ever done. The best place in the room to hide is under the bed, not in the closet. The worst place to hide is the closet. There's only two main places you can hide. Under the bed and in the closet. The problem with in the closet is that I automatically think when I come to a room, that's the easiest place for a person to go. So that's the first place I check. So the best place to go is not the closet. The best place to go is under the bed. The best place to go 
song when you play hide and seek is under the bed. The best place to go when you're hiding and I'm seeking you is under the bed. I'm telling you because I thought I first of my first thought comes to the closet. Anybody I say to myself, anybody that wants to hide quick thief and just run inside some place where I would not see them even if I'm walking by the room. If I walk into the room, you don't naturally see what's in the closet because I got control over it. Why? Because that's the door. So the best place for you to go, hallelujah, doing a good game of hide and seek. How can I get in my eye? It's under the bed. An enemy has a bad name for you. The problem is, both places are terrible. Both places are horrible. You shouldn't be in either place because you're not supposed to be in hiding. You're supposed to be in a full 